What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing a good and a super hero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Now I've gotten lots of questions over the years of doing martial arts content for you guys and here is one of the biggest ones that I really want to answer. Why I don't teach self-defense on this channel. Now that is a very good question with a very interesting answer, but if you think about it, I feel like you might agree with me at the end. Now, first I wanna say, it's not because I don't know it. I know, that sounds dumb for me to have to say, but there's enough people that have only seen the tricking videos that only think I can use a sword and toss it. So just know, that's not the case. Because most of my training actually consists in Tongsudo Mudokan, which is a traditional form of martial arts built for war. It was actually designed, designed to uh, help defend Korea while in Japan was invading. I want to say it's during World War One, but honestly, I can't quite remember offhand. I just, history is not my thing. But I did do a video about it, so if you want to learn more, click the link in the corner. This is Editing DJ, and I want regular DJ to know that I hate you for not scripting this video. So with that type of very intense martial arts training in a school that was also equally very, very intense, like, Training in the snow barefoot in tents. Like having a week long test for your master test in the mountains in tents. Like having a training weekend in the woods, specifically in the coldest and hottest weeks of the year. Like turning on the heat in the metal building in tents. <laughs> Did I just have like a, like a flashback was a hot night in Granada type of moment right there? Woo. But the reason I don't bring that here is because when you're teaching that online, it can get a little dicey in my opinion. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means I don't wanna give anyone a false sense of security. Self-defense requires you to be tested under fire. You have to know how the resistance feels, how pulling away from risk feels, how getting choked and being on the ground and being mounted, being uh, moving people around, getting hit, you have to know how all of that feels. And as far as I know, YouTube doesn't have a feature where they can just let me punch you through the screen. YouTube, if you need someone to test that out though, let me know. It'll be the new thing. We'll call it fight tube. <laughs> Please, I want it to be a thing. You can just actually punch people through the comments. That would be awesome. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked and editing DJ is gonna hate this. Yeah, I do. I do. And since self-defense requires that physical aspect and resistance so much, if I were to teach someone how to get out of a choke or how you can get out of wrist grabs or how you can um, do a lot of these more intense things, that would only really get them halfway there. And so if someone thinks, oh, I watched the Modern Ninjas video, I don't have en enough information to get self-defense, I know enough, I'm fine. That attitude will get them hurt. Well, I guess could get them hurt. Hopefully they never have to use it. And so I've made the choice not to teach self-defense on social media, no matter how bad I want to sometimes. So if you're interested in learning self-defense, there's lots of places to do it, but you should find a place near you that you can go and train at. And if you wanna learn cool stuff, well, you're in luck, cause I got you. I'll leave links, you know, where links belong, but I'm doing a staff course very soon. I'm releasing the beta in December. So if you wanna be a part of the free beta testing of my staff course, taking you from zero to 60 in staff work and being able to do staff tricks and all the things you see me do with both staff, then click the links as wherever they are. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. I'm out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this one about Tongsudo Murokwan, the best martial arts, or this other one that YouTube thinks you'll love. Either way, make sure to subscribe so I can see you in the next one.